Chapter 1 Corporate security gets tested in False Alarm, where you play as an overzealous specialist who believes the best way to test security is by actually breaking in. Rather than filing boring reports, you're crawling through vents, hiding in cupboards, and slipping through shadows to expose every vulnerability firsthand. The stealth mechanics revolve around light, sound, and line of sight, where while clever distraction systems let you manipulate guards and leave them exactly where you want them. Multiple routes through each level give you freedom to plan your approach, though when stealth fails, things can get messy with some unfortunate casualties, though not the permanent kind. All in the name of a thorough assessment, of course. Sometimes games aren't about winning or losing, but about connecting with others on a deeper level. Fireside Feelings creates a cozy campfire atmosphere where players share thoughts on everything from childhood dreams to cooking preferences, building a meaningful tapestry of authentic human experiences. You'll discover what real people think through asynchronous conversations, letting you explore responses at your own pace. The experience includes content moderation and customizable warnings to keep things safe, while unlockable campfire furniture lets you personalize your peaceful retreat. It's honestly pretty great to see a game like this focusing on mental well-being that also promotes empathy and positivity through genuine human connection. How far into the post-apocalyptic subway system can you survive? Metro Loop blends side-scrolling platforming with twin-stick shooting as you venture deeper into dangerous underground stations. Between stops, you have just 40 seconds to smash boxes and gather crucial loot in tunnel sections where lights cut out, forcing you forward into the darkness. At every station, waves of increasingly tough monsters await in top-down combat sequences, but you can fight back using dual-wield weapons while managing limited ammo, and deploy special abilities like landmines and teleporters. With 20 enemy types, endless upgrades, and healing chambers that reward speed, survival depends on smart resource management and knowing when to fight versus flee. Deck building meets slot machine mechanics in this unique roguelike where enemy and item placement depend on symbol draws. Your dungeon exploration revolves around collecting symbols that represent spells, items, and enemies, then strategically managing how they appear in slot machines. Different character classes like the Durable Warrior and Spell-Focused Mage each bring distinct abilities and symbol sets to the table. It's a traditional roguelike mixed with innocent gambling, where every floor represents new tactical decisions based on what symbols you've gathered and how the slot draw plays out. It's a fresh take on solo dungeon crawling that turns random number generation into strategic gameplay. And before we get to our last spot, congrats to last week's winner, Reconfigure. Be sure to vote for your favorite in the comments to have them included in this year's Gato Game Awards. And like last year, just because a game doesn't win its week doesn't mean it can't be included in the awards. Number five. Fast-paced cooperative chaos defines Zion Leak, a frantic two-player experience where speed and synchronization are everything. You and a partner race through over 60 levels across three distinct biomes, dodging dangers placed by the mysterious foreman while chasing gold and silver trophy times. Some levels ditch the stopwatch entirely, instead featuring deadly Zion gas that destroys everything behind you, forcing constant forward momentum in order to avoid getting fried. The game balances time speed runs with cooperative puzzle solving, all wrapped in pixel art visuals and a piston pumping soundtrack mixing drum and bass with electro beats. Plus, you can customize your robots with silly hats, because even in mortal danger, style matters. 